Welcome back to Eastern Newsbeat. This is Trisha Zena. I'm here with Lynn Clark, and she's had a very long association with Marie. Welcome, and thank you for being with me today. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here on, at this exhibition. It's one of many exhibitions, I must say, that I've been to for Marie over the years. And I think, which I say every time, this is my favourite. <laughs> so how long have you known Marie? I have known Marie since the 1970s when we were very, very young and starting out in advertising. And since then, Marie has had many uh, personas. Marie is one of those people who just keeps reinventing herself. She has gone from being an art director to a creative director to to someone who is a, an events planner, you know, with, with, with Crown, and, and then she became a, an author, and, and, and now she's, you know, she's, she's, well, she's always been an artist, but I mean, now she's, her art has gone to an even greater, greater level. She's just one of those people that next year, who's, who knows what she'll be doing next year. She could be, like, redesigning Melbourne, or, or maybe she's going to, to create... Um, you know, a, a, a whole range of, of clothing that they could be wearing on Mars. I mean, I, nothing would surprise me because Marie is just exceptional. And every time she does something, there's always a uniqueness to it. And she uses things that are familiar, like the alphabet, but then she presents it in such a way that it ceases to be the alphabet and it becomes something else. Like her tools are always things that you would never ever guess were tools. But she takes them and then she creates them. I was just saying before, she walked around Melbourne and I saw buildings and she saw letters of the alphabet. You know, she, she, she also has this, um, this absolute love of this city. Um, which is based on nostalgia, but it but it's also based on her very very unique perspective. She sees beauty where there isn't. She sees interest where there isn't. She sees diversity where there isn't, and all of that means that every time she does something, it is wow. It's like oh, I, I haven't seen it that way before. Yeah, and very unique and unusual. Yeah, absolutely. Like every exhibition I've been to, is it's like. I'm going to another artist that I haven't seen before, and this is this is their exhibition. I would never put all of Marie's work in one place, and, and I would I would challenge anyone who hadn't seen it to even suspect that it came from the one person. That yeah. diverse. Yeah, yeah, that diverse. All her in, all her her Ned Kelly stuff was was so based in in history. And then she did all this sort of like quirky stuff about, about Melbourne and the French Quarter in Melbourne, you know, the French end of, of Collins Street, which looked almost um, 1950s inspired. And then you look at this stuff here today and you go, yeah, there's a quirkiness to it. There's, or there's almost like a pop art kind of like, al- al- almost another genre altogether. Um, and, you, and you can't quite nail her down to any particular any particular style or any particular statement. So she keeps creating new and extremely different visions, doesn't she? Absolutely. And when you come into this shop, I mean, the shop itself is is remarkable because most of the merchandise in this shop she created herself. I mean, so we're not talking about we're not talking about books, and we're not just talking about paintings. We're talking about mugs and cups and bags and jewellery and and um, homewares and and you just it is it's like there is no end. Mm. And you look at it and you say that and you're trying to find the common link between it all. And the only common link between it all is that it was all created by Marie. <laughs> That's it. Prolific and extremely creative. <laughs> yes. And I'm very envious, I must say. It's not fair. That's one person get off. It's not fair. I mean, I think she should share around the talent a little bit more. I don't think it's fair that one person gets so much. But yeah, I mean, it's a tribute to her. I mean, and oh, and the other thing about Marie, I mean, she's such a doer. I mean, I've never known anyone. I mean, you could be having dinner with Marie on a Monday and she says, oh, I've got an idea for blah, blah, blah. And Friday, 
you know, she'll be organising a printer or, you know, she'll be organ and you think, oh, you've done that already. And, and you say, oh, no, I'm getting ready, you know, and then next minute it's happening. Like, she, she works with such um, speed. Mm. And, of course, um, there's another half to Marie, which, of course, is Lex, her partner, who is such a powerhouse because they're, they're, like, they're like this team that support each other so much. And, I, and I'm sure that Marie would be the first person to say this. I mean, Marie could not have created the vast amount of work that she has created. She, could, she couldn't have set this place up. She couldn't be running this remarkable tribute to, to Melbourne if it wasn't for, for Lex. You know, so they're a really great, um, it's a great partnership. And it just, it just shows on, on so many levels that creativity is is endless. Mm. It's it's it doesn't have to be limited to a style or a genre or, or a look or a feel or um, your reputation or, or any of those things. It just keeps going and going and going. So yeah, she's quite a remarkable person. Now you've been enticed in to buy this beautiful portrait behind yeah, us. Yeah. How come? Well, my son lives in New York, and he knows Mary. And I was thinking of what could I get him for his birthday, which is in January. And I saw this and I thought, yeah, I could see this on his wall. So I'm getting him this, I'm going to send it over. And I'm also going to get the book that goes with it, um, which is the letterhead book. Uh, and I think it will, it will be fantastic. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I wish I could afford to get the whole, the whole lot. <laughs> but that, if I did, they'd be for me. <laughs> Not for a gift. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time. It's been absolutely lovely. Thank you. Bye. This is Trisha Zima, Eastern Newsbeat.